Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I have project number two in our Santa's Workshop series. We're gonna do this jumbo tag and wrap for a pair of magic stretchy gloves. Tis the season, right? I think it was 40 some degrees last night here. Fall is here and winter's coming. So let's go ahead and make this adorable little gift item. I got my um, little magic stretchy gloves at the Dollar Tree and I got them a, probably a couple of years ago. These are from my supply of craft fair, my, my craft fair stash. So I don't think I got these last winter. It's maybe last winter or the winter before. They were in a two pack and I just separated the two and I've got some Santa Express Designer Series paper. This is one and a half inches by seven and it's perfect for the gloves that I have. You'll have to check that measurement with your own gloves before you cut all your paper, just in case yours are a little bit more bulky than mine. Uh, you don't wanna go by my measurement unless you have my gloves. Now, the, my gloves, these gloves that I have, will be included in my Santa's Workshop uh, make and take promotion. So if you haven't heard, if you spend $100, Marissa Alvarez at stampinup.net, use the host code, I will send you these projects in the Santa's Workshop series. And I'm gonna include all the bits and pieces. So you're gonna get the gloves, you're gonna get the, the clip that we're using today, all the things that make this project complete. All right, so we've wrapped up our gloves and now they're together and it's just snug enough, which is really nice. And we're gonna set them aside and do our tag base. So I got two pieces of mint macaron cardstock here. And this base piece is uh, three by four and a half. This layer is two and a half by four. And we're gonna add some lovely texture to the layer using the quadruple embossing folder. Now, we're just going to line this up one, three, then we'll put our paper in our embossing folder and three on top, it's a standard folder. And to get the pattern nice and straight across my Mint Macaron cardstock, I like to use the line at the bottom of the folder. So we'll use that to get it level and kind of center the design. Then I'm gonna pop this folder in with the fold first, three on top. And we're gonna square everything up. You don't want anything to drag along the edge and give it a crank. And look at how deep this impression is and how gorgeous that pattern is. It's really a um, kind of a, a, a chameleon pattern. It can feel like the holidays. I think it goes perfect with our Scotty, the style of the Christmas Scotty stamp set but it'll bring you right back around to spring and summer again with your fall or with your flower stamp sets and designs. It's just one of those folders that goes with everything. We're going to adhere the two layers together. I rolled the corners just a little bit so that they'll lift away from the mint macron base and just highlight that frame and the texture, the difference between that smooth frame and the texture. Now I did a little bit of die cutting ahead of time. I used some basic white cardstock to cut my tag and shaded spruce to cut the little D-shaped reinforcer. Both of those are from the tailor-made tags dies. And this little bracket tag is the second from the smallest. And I saved this one or cut this one off because off camera because it cuts three at one time. So you get three little reinforcers with one pass. And now I've got one for each of my gloves. <laughs> so let's go ahead and glue this one down before we lose it. I always like to get a little bit of glue on these bits and get them secure before they get lost in the shuffle. I'm such a um, whirlwind crafter. And we're just to the right of center and not quite to the top of the tag. And it's a cute little accent where the tag clips to the gloves. Now my designer series paper for the tag, I'm using this Santa Express paper and you can see between my samples, I think I'm using all of the B-side patterns. 
I love this paper. If you can get past the Santas, it's really very general Christmas. The color palette is great. Mint Macron, um, Shaded Spruce, Poppy Parade, and then that little pop of Petal Pink, I think really makes it unique. And those are pretty much all of the <laughs> designer series paper patterns displayed and used in those two projects. The largest piece for our layer here is one and a quarter by four. We're going to put adhesive. Make sure you just do the center because it goes beyond the edges of the tag. We're going to glue that one. And then the next one is one by three. And we'll glue that so it overlaps a bit. And then where the two patterns meet, I've got half inch by three and a quarter. And we'll just layer those. Isn't that really cool how the designer series papers play together. Now let's do some stamping. We're going to slide our tag aside for a minute and I've got my stamp and pierce mat. Christmas Scotty is a photopolymer bundle. You can bundle up the Christmas Scotty stamp set with the punch and save 10%. There will be a class in the kitchen table stamper online store a um, christmas stamp a stack with the christmas scotty bundle got some memento tuxedo black ink here and my sentiment is from christmas scotty may your days be furry and bright what a happy greeting for this gift right and this gift is great for anybody make a few and have them on hand throughout the whole um, winter and Christmas season and you will make lots of smiles it goes pretty quickly too with the um, Christmas Scotty and the dog punch the stamping and, and cutting process is really quick and easy there's no uh, no real fiddly work to do here no coloring we're just gonna use our Stamparatus to get the darkest uh, impression we can get for our dog. I've got my Scotty dog. I'm gonna just put my Christmas Scotty stamp set underneath the platform here, or underneath the plate here, so we've got some resistance. Got a scrap of basic white cardstock, and you can see where his little legs stamped. I'm gonna just make sure that when we stamp this, it's going to be no problem to punch it out so you always check your punch compared to where you're going to stamp on the paper and make sure that you can reach and if everything's good then you're going to ink your scotty with a memento and then stamp i love to do this ink stamp ink stamp technique for these silhouette kind of images you'll get a stronger black impression and a nice solid impression There it is, so cute. Now slide this guy out of here. This project is part of my Santa's workshop offer. If you spend $100 using the host code at marissaalvarez.stampinup.net, I'll send you a kit for this. And let me just give you a quick sneak peek. This was project number one in the Santa's workshop series. This is project number two. I'll link to the video for this project, but these are two of the projects that you'll find in our Santa's workshop class packet. And I'm going to include all the little treats for you. So little pencils will be in there and the instructions are right on the blog. The class packets are limited while supplies last because my treats like the gloves and the clips and the pencils are limited. So first come first serve on this offer. Let's do a little bit more stamping on this scrap. I'm gonna get my Stampin' Pierce mat and some ink pads. We're using Mint Macron, Shaded Spruce, and Poppy Parade. I want a Poppy Parade bow, so I'm going to ink up, stamp that in the corner there where it's gonna be nice and easy to punch out. And then for my presents, look at these cute little presents. Isn't that the I love the little stamps that make perfect embellishments. So we're going to do our present and I'm going to do the shaded spruce first. 
I'm gonna always do the cool color first, then clean my stamp and change to the warm color. Then we're going to go to the um, Poppy Parade. Cool colors, the pigments like to clean up easier than warm color pigments. And so you'll get a cleaner um, when you switch from cool to warm colors, you'll get a, a clearer color. We're gonna do the bow on this one while that has a second to dry. This one is mint macaron on our little shaded spruce present. Now we'll switch to the poppy parade and do the present. And my poppy parade present is going to get a shaded spruce bow. Now, because the mint macaron is same color, lighter shade, I didn't even clean it up in between. I just went from mint macaron straight to the shaded spruce. You could stamp off a little bit or clean it if you like, but a little touch of mint macaron on your shaded spruce isn't gonna do anything, but shaded spruce in your, in your poppy parade would be a mess. I've got my little dog punch with the bow. Let's pop that out. Then I cute, you could use that on anything too. So keep in mind that the bow is a um, cute little punch out doodad that you can use with all kinds of things on flower bouquets or on other animals or things in your stamp collection. I love when there's a little, a little bit that you can use with anything. And of course, a little presence too. Think about all the little animals that you have in your collection. Now they've got bows and gifts. Cute. And of course, Christmas Scotty does not have to be for Christmas. It would make an adorable birthday card. Just change up your designer series paper and your color palette. So it's a very flexible stamp set. You'll get your Christmas cards out of it this year, but it's not a Christmas bundle that you'll buy for your Christmas cards this year and never use again because you won't send the same Christmas cards next year, right? So the Christmas Scotty is a very flexible choice for your Christmas cards this year. All right, we've got our cutie little jumbo tag. We've got our small tag with the greeting on it. Let's do some embellishing. I've got some great fibers here. I love the textures that these are gonna bring to the project. This is Evening Evergreen Open Weave Ribbon. Perfect choice with this Santa Express Designer Series paper. There's a little bit of Evening Evergreen in the multicolor pattern here but I think it works very nicely, even with the shaded spruce. And there's our beautiful fabric bow with those two different textures, the shiny satin and then the sheer open weave. Now we're gonna take it up even a little bit more and we're going to run some linen thread through and layer that on with its natural texture and curly um, kind of wily behavior, it's gonna add a nice touch to the project but before you thread through you want to get your flat jingle bell trinket look at how cute these are <laughs> going through them like water they're so cute they have the perfect touch to anything they're relatively thin and pretty lightweight um, and just really a beautiful touch so we're going to put the thread through the trinket front to back and then we'll put the thread through the tag front to back and now tie it up and front to back is important so that your trinket ends up with the front side up and tie and then tie a bow i love the texture of the twine the ribbon and then that embossed texture in the background you got so much going on here kind of a, a feast. We'll cut off from the spool, trim the tail, and we can pop that on with some dimensionals. All right, that's all sticky. You want to go low enough so that when you add your dog, you've got room. And let's get our little doggy here. I'm going to glue his bow. Just a touch of liquid glue. Pop that on. He just brings them to life, doesn't it? And now some mini dimensionals. He's all sticky. Put him above the tag there. Let's add the presents with mini dimensionals too. 
I just love these little accents. It's the simple little things like this. It didn't take but an extra second, but look at the pop of color that it adds as we put these guys on there. Such a sweet little detail. <laughs> All right, so here's our original. Here's another. A little bit different designer series papers on each one or use them in different places. And now bring in our gloves for today's project. And got the brass bullnose clip that matches our little jingle bell perfectly. Clip that right to the band. Add a mini dimensional behind the bell so that it doesn't cover the greeting. That's optional, of course. I want to make sure that my furry and bright isn't covered. There it is. May your days be furry and bright. If you've got any questions about the project, the Santa's Workshop order offer, or host code offer, you can email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Check out the rest of the details about the offer at kitchentablestamper.com, the blog. You'll find the link to the blog post with the principal project sheet below the video. And I'll also link to our first project in the Santa's Workshop series, one of the other um, packets that's included in our Santa's Workshop order, this cute little sweet gingerbread pencil box. I'll link to that below the video too. All right, you guys, I'll see you in video number three in our Santa's Workshop series, marissaalvarez.stampinup.net to shop 24-7 and email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com with any questions. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.